In this video, I will be showing you how to tackle the X-ray um, OSCE from the uh, ADC practical exam. So I will be showing you what are the stuff that you will find in the common area or the clean area and will take you then to the mannequin so we can set up and then we'll expose it and we'll I'll also show you the uh, the technique. So first you're gonna find um, these sets of uh, holders. So first you have the RIN system and you have the CUR system. In the exam it will be available the in the CUR system or sorry the RIN system the yellow one, which I'm holding in my hand right now, is for the uh, posterior PA. The blue one will be used for anterior PA. And the red one is for bite wings. With, along with their corresponding arms, each with the same color, and film holders. Okay, the curve system, you will find this one, yellow color, this is the curve system, this is for bite wing. Same one, but with different film holder color. If it's green, that's for anterior PA. If it's brown, that's for posterior PA. For that, you will get the same ring color, so the, only the film holder will, color will change. You will have the same ring color, so that the ring color doesn't change like in the RAM system. And as you can see, the arm is attached to the film holder. What else you can find? You will find the... Um, snap array film holder which is this one like scissors the blue one and you will find hygienic bags two sizes or more than one size um, along with bite tabs and phosphoric plates, different sizes. These are size zero and size two. Size two for posterior PA and bite wings and size one for the uh, anterior PAs. You'll also find uh, another size of film, which is meant for occlusal film. For occlusal, you don't need uh, film holders or uh, arms, that's why it will uh, you you won't need the uh, holders okay that's what you're gonna find in the common area so first when you will walk into the exam room you will have three minutes preparation time right during that time you will not be allowed to do anything so you'll just read the scenario from the screen and decide what is demanded from you and take a glance at the uh, common area so you can make up your mind what are the stuff that you are going to collect from there all right and once the timer starts you will go do the PPE and collect what are you going to need drop it on the tray or the dirty area then put on your gloves and start doing the assembly you will not be allowed to touch the mannequin so this is just for the demonstration purposes um, I'm, I'm allowed to uh, touch the mannequin in the exam this is all dirty so you won't be able to touch it without gloves right so Let's take a look at the scenario right here. 
So it says Julia, this is just an example, by the way. Julia is a new patient complaining of vague pain in her right side that started a couple of nights ago. You are required to take the necessary x-rays to reach a differential diagnosis. The scenario might be just like that, or that they might specify in the scenario that you are required to expose or not expose. When I say expose, I mean to press, to actually press the button for the, in the x-ray machine. Otherwise, the examiner will be specifying that. So either way, you have to be prepared for all scenarios. Right. So you just read the scenario, you make up your mind. Obviously, the required film here would be um, bite wing because we don't know which tooth. So bite wing for the right side. So either the yellow cur or the red rin system. I personally prefer the cur because for bite wings because it's uh, lightweight and it's less bulky than rin. So now, once the exam starts, you go put on your mask and goggles, but first you were gonna wash your hands, put on your goggles and mask and stay ungloved. Stay ungloved. This is a clean area, the common area, so you're allowed to touch and grab stuff from there. I'll tell you later why I don't, because if you put on your gloves right now, you're going to have to uh, use the tweezers to grab stuff. With, twi with, with gloves, you cannot touch anything on the clean area. So it's more convenient to grab your stuff while you're still ungloved, right? So I have the option to choose either the rin, the red rin, along with uh, other parts, or the yellow cur. okay? For me, I'm going to, I always prefer the cur for bite wings. As it's more convenient, but sometimes, sometimes you have to do two bite wings. In that scenario, you will have to, um, you will have to, um, uh, um, use both, right? Okay. So I'm gonna grab. The yellow curve with its ring. I'm gonna put them in a container or a tray, or I just grab them on my put them on my hand, and size two film along with the bag with the bag. And I might get some of these one of these bite tabs, but I'm not gonna use it like to actually stick to the film, but rather I might need them to stabilize the film in case it was wobbly inside the film holder. Generally with cur, this doesn't happen and that's maybe one of the reasons I like to use the cur. Uh, mostly it happened, you need that with rin. The film is not stable, so you need something to uh, stabilize it with. I'm gonna collect all of these, put them in a container, drop them on your tray, then put on your gloves. So this is the tray now, along with the exam kit, nerve, probe, and tweezer. And these are the stuff. Again, you're not allowed to touch anything in here without gloves. So now I've put on, rubbed my hands with the hygienic gel, with the hand gel, and put on my gloves. So I'm allowed to adjust the chair, uh, open the light, examine the mannequin, do whatever, it's clinical, right? So, don't forget to turn on the lights. These are the stuff that I will be needing. I You can do this task either standing up with the mannequin upright, or you can lie the mannequin down and sit on the chair. Either way, it's fine. Okay. Now, I like to assemble the um, um, film and film holder on the mannequin. So I don't do the assembly right there because I like to visualize the side. Now the, pay the mannequin right side is my left side, it's towards me. 
right? So this side towards me is the right side, okay? Just so you don't, because you can easily get mixed. That's why you have to familiarize yourself with side, right? So I will hold the film holder in a way that uh, correlates to that. But first, I will put the film, or oh, the phosphoric plate. Now, this could be a little bit tricky. See that phosphoric plate has two sides. One side has a writing on it, and the other side is plain. Could be blue, could be white, or could be black, right? So the phosphoric plate inside the hygienic bag, you're going to put it in a way so that the side with the writing is facing you or is towards the translucent part, uh, uh, sorry, the transparent part of the bag. So you can still read what's inside the film what's inside the back, right? So I'm going to hold it like this. Yeah, the writing side facing towards the transparent side. Okay, this is important. So you still can read. This is the transparent side. You can still read the film, right? Then when you're gonna put the film, so first then I will remove the sticker and close it. Okay. And then when you're gonna put the film in the holder, so the arm of the holder, this is this the whole short horizontal arm should be anteriorly placed. So the mannequin can actually close. And the opposite when you're doing the left side, you have to flip it upside down. Okay, so always the short arm should be facing forward or anteriorly. That's why visualizing what's, what, si what size are you taking an x-ray for is important. Placing the film with the dot in the slot and the black side of the bag facing me, facing to the cheeks, facing the x-ray machine or the cone see this black side which corresponds to the blue side of the film inside this is the exposure side that should be facing the film the dot in the slot see that dot it's in the slot of the film holder just like that and you're gonna use the um mirror to retract the tongue gently close the film and have the mannequin jaws closed Now it looks like as if the mannequin's mouth is a bit open, but that's fine because of the angle of the camera. It's fully closed and you will see that in the final x-ray film after I expose it. I like to put the ring later on when, after I close the mannequin jaws, right? So when you place the ring, make sure that the film holder and the film are inside the ring in the center and the see there is no space it's touching the cheeks so it's flush with the cheeks and this is how it looks from the inside right and now you're going to get the cone When you place the cone, there has to be no space between the cone and the, and the ring, so it should be flush. And also the long arm of the film of the holder should be parallel with the cone to avoid overlapping. See how it's flush, zero space. And see that those two lines are parallel to each other. Right. Now I'm going to take you to the settings. See this plan maker device? In Bitewing. So 
the only setting that you're gonna need is to choose whether it's an adult or baby and the other setting is to choose whether it's for indo or bitwin see those buttons on the right with anterior tooth or an incisor or a premolar or uh, or a front uh, an anterior tooth or a premolar in the middle or a uh, molar this you won't need to, to play with when it's a bite wing you're gonna have to choose whether it's an anterior tooth or premolar or a uh, or a posterior tooth when it's a, 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 a pa and you have to specify whether it's upper or lower by pressing it twice for the lower and once for upper right first button on the left this will uh, show us whether it's um, upper or lower and this also can be used for occlusal so you will need that too what you're going to need is that button on the middle right middle right so if you press it once this will give you the settings for the endo or pa if you press it twice, you're going to take you to the bite wing. And the uh, other button, which you need to specify, other, uh, either adult or um, baby. Okay? So just these settings. Sometimes they ask you to show these settings, and sometimes they don't, they don't care. They care about the found final outcome of the film. Right? So just these two buttons, the bite wing and the thumb. Now, I, after you expose, whether you are supposed to expose or not, depends. I'm going you're gonna go back to the room because the exposure button is outside. Remove the film from the mannequin. Unbag it by tearing the bag away and dropping it in the, uh, opening it and dropping it in a clean, dish for the DA to process it. Otherwise, if it's not an exposure uh, station, then you just leave it like that and you leave, or you, you, you will go ahead and do the other film. So just like that, without touching it, the inside, because the inside is clean, you're gonna drop it, or she will be picking it up from you, the, the DA. Right. So after exposing this film, you see this, quality of x-ray so no overlapping in on um, proximal surfaces so we're able to see the caries and two-thirds of the roots or at least the bifurcation areas should be uh, visible right and should be equal amounts of roots from upper and lower uh, and you should another criteria Another criteria is that from fer mesial or first to premolar to the last molar tooth are shown, or distal of last molar tooth. Sometimes the eights are not visible, which is all right, but at least the premolars and, 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 and molars, all of them should be visible with no overlapping. To start training for your ADC, practical exam, both skilled and technical, please contact me on my WhatsApp to organize some training and demo session for you that will be all on site with full equipment. Thank you.